morning we're here at Dinah Wood Products. We have Noah, who is a seasoned veteran on good morning, the, Chris. the good morning on the Dinah Wood Processors. He's also the the their top salesman as well. Um, we he gave us a small tour the, today of his uh, wood yard, where he how many baseboards a year do you think you push through there? Between 750 to 1,000. So he knows what he's talking about when it comes to firewood. Um, we're gonna start out by doing a little bit of a, a competition between him and I. I, I took the customer competition yesterday. Uh, I was the winner of that, but me and Noah have kind of a little side one going on this morning. So starting out, we both had our engines uh, at max RPM and we were just waiting for the signal to get rolling. Now the oak is much different than what I'm used to. Typically we're sawn through pine. We do some hardwoods with it, but definitely not oak. Looking at the end of my conveyor, I actually have the Grizzly Bar clean out tray. Uh, you could put like a tote underneath it or uh, whatever you kind of want to, to keep the mess down to a minimum. It helps sort out some of the fine stuff for those of you that don't want to put a tumbler in your operation. It definitely does keep some of the debris out of there. Unfortunately, the way we process wood into the sacks and then have the conveyor solid mounted to the ground on our stand, I don't have room uh, to put that clean out tray in there in its present form. I may look into changing it up a little bit and adding that, but at this point right now, I haven't had too much need for it as the black conveyor is usually our bundling firewood. Uh, that's where we keep it. And our secondary conveyor, uh, our auxiliary conveyor is the one that I send our, our home heating firewood into. So typically if we're gonna make any mess, it stays on site and we just dispose of it on site into our burn pile. This SC15, even though it's outfitted with the 38 horsepower electronic fuel injection Kohler motor, surprisingly, it, it was doing really well. Now, I'm not used to running a smaller machine like this as I'm used to running my SC16, so I wanted to saw and split at the same time because you can do both functions on the 16 where none of the 15s have that double stack hydraulic pump on them. The SC15, you're basically only able to operate the saw or the splitter, where the SC16 on, uh, you can operate the splitter and the saw simultaneously. 
some of the bigger logs, you, you can actually start cutting them while you're pushing a, a log through the, the, the wedge and then retract it. And by the time you're done retracting, if you time it right, uh, it will drop down in and you basically lose no cycle time. That splitter wedge or the maul is going back and forth, back and forth, and it's never stopping. Uh, it doesn't always happen that way, but you know, you try and run it that way to, to get the best efficiency out of, of your machine. As you can see, Noah finished about one or two log cuts before I was finished. And, you know, he's running a, a 49 horsepower machine compared to the 38 horsepower machine that I was running. And that positive stop made all the difference. On that SC15 versus a gas motor on this SC14. And our thoughts were with the positive stop that we would probably be pretty close in time, although this machine has less power than the diesel. Uh, with that positive stop, it was able to hold its own and keep up fairly well. I think we were within 15 or 20 seconds of finishing with one another. Exactly. So that positive stop right there can take a lower horsepower machine and now make it comparable to the higher horsepower machine. So just imagine when you put that positive stop on a 16 or you know the 15 diesel how much more productivity you are going to gain exactly right on special thanks to the folks at dyna for helping make this possible we appreciate you and all you do for us thank you